for you to eat, oh? Okay, mom. My dialect too well. That is a topic for another day. Echi we. Echi daka. Che. Where are we? Jabo doja. Where are daka? Ah oh we. Daka. Eh eh. Please eh. I want you to help me and keep Junior with you. I want to rush to somewhere. But I'll be back before you know it. People. And where are you going to? I. When I come back, I'll tell you. Please. Okay, oh, as long as you're not going to waste time. Because soon I'll be going to the market to get some things. No, I won't waste time. Just now, now, now I'll be back. Oh. No problem. Thank you very much. Baby, listen, I'm going out. But I'll come back soon. Don't disturb this auntie. Eh? Just stay calm. Calm. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're not going to waste time. No, no, no waste time. All right. No waste time. Take care. Baby, be fine. Oh, he's going to be fine. Okay. Ekora, Omariji, man. They call me an outcast. And they say I deserve to die, yo Now tell me what is my offense, yo Kene kamere ndi madu jia po monu Una fuko, mwa pia luwa Mama? Yeah Mama Sao chini Yeah That's why you're coming uh, this morning I hope all is well All is well, no 
Mm -hmm. Come my Kejara. Will you ever have something to eat? I hope you're not expecting me to give you money. Because I don't I have none to spare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how it is with me now. Eh? We need money or something to eat to survive. Be cocoa. If you don't make one. If you don't make one, then you need food to survive. Eh, Sochima. Am I the one that got you pregnant? I'm not to baragi me. Mama. Don't mama me. Don't mama me. Get away and grab your Eh? Every time you'll be coming to ask me for money. Your aged mother. Guests like you are the ones taking care of their aged mother. You better not join me go. Just leave me alone and beg. Let me, let me, let me concentrate on, on your sister. Get away with Enka. Thanks about them. Thanks about Monday. Even if you forsake me, I know that my God will never forsake me. Let him not forsake you. Let that your God not, not forsake you. And let me tell you, you had better go there and start making money like other girls or other girls like you. Eh? Better go and start looking for money to take care of yourself and take care of me too. Don't you know what other girls are doing? Eh? Look at you, as beautiful as you are. You're just, you're just there, wasting away. Look at you, money near man. You're just beautiful for nothing. When men out there are willing to do anything just to have you. No sense. Cherry, Cherry, Mama. Men, I, I don't understand. Are you actually saying I should go into prostitution? I don't care. Call it whatever that you like. All I know is that you should go out there and make money like other girls. Go and look for money. Don't even give me that emotional blackmail. I am tired. Go and take care of yourself. Sense. No problem, Mama. It's, it's obvious you do not wake up from the good side of the bed. And let me remind you, your rent will soon expire, okay, ma? Your rent will soon be due. And then the landlord will come and kick you out this time around because I will no longer renew your rent. Mama, are you still talking about rent? What do you want me to get money for? I don't know. Where do you want me to get money for? I don't know anything. You have to go and do it and make Maybe you think I'm not trying. I am trying. You're trying is not trying. I am doing so many things to make it. It's just not working. What do you want me to do? Your, 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 what you're doing is not good enough. It is not good enough. My dear, go and look for money. That's your ego. Where do you want me to get the money from? I don't know what to do. Anything you want to do, go and do it and, and, and put money in your pocket. What is all this? We are starting to 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 keep on catering for you and your son. Where is it done? Have I not tried? Be be come take help my cabico. Nonsense. It's fine. I don't even believe that you're telling me this. I don't even want to believe it. Don't even give me that emotion. Believe anything you want. Believe all that you want to believe. I don't care. Because he's about us. No, let me go and prosecute and come and give because one more is sitting there for nonsense. Get away, Henka. Are we going to remain like this? Eh? I'm gonna be out to look. I'm gonna be out to look. I won't go down for that. So, Tim, I'm gonna look for money. Go and check. Go. Look for money and take care of yourself and your and your son. What is all this? Nonsense. I'm gonna be out to look. I'm gonna be out to look. I won't go down for that. Never. 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 You're going to come back early. My dear, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was there. Hey, see my boy is enjoying. Baby, even gave him mineral and bread. Che Barakasero, thank you very much. I didn't. A customer did. Baby, you begged? Eh? No, 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 
I didn't beg mom. The auntie just bought it for me. Which auntie? One customer like that. Um, yes. The customer came and she liked him. Especially his hair. So she decided to buy him bread and mineral. Because he was hungry. I shouldn't have let her know. I, I, I understand that he's hungry. I, I could not fend for him, but... Okay, it's fine. Thank you for the help, anyway. Uh, uh, Bajima, see, uh, I, I want to ask you for another favor, please. Hmm. Uh, as long as you don't want to collect anything on credit. Hmm. You remember the last one you collected? You have not paid me. Good afternoon, my sister. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. Ella, how are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Mom, yeah. mm -hmm. I haven't seen Jinya in school for a while now. So I decided to check up on him. Mm. Is it okay, Ma? Mm. That's so thoughtful of you, my darling. Is I to come and check up on your friend? Thank you. He's fine. He's sleeping inside as we speak. All is well, my darling. I don't think so, Ma. Huh? Because the last time we saw, he told me that you are having issues with his school fees. Is it true, Ma? He did? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, see, Em, things are not the way they used to be with us. But very soon, we'll get back on track. I understand. Don't worry, I shall tell my dad he will help him out. No, no. Listen, you don't need to tell your daddy anything. Yeah? Okay, there's something I'm doing now that will bring money. Once I get the money, I'll pay his school fees. And then you see him in school again. My dad will help him out and pay his school fees and his lesson fee. My dear, what is your name? I'm okay. Uh, I'm a personal maid. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, you. Uh, it's unfortunate. I don't have anything to offer you people. No problem. No problem. We're gonna win now. Okay, let's go. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Ella, thank you all. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my priceless jewel. Good day, my dear. How are you? Fine. Good day, sir. Good day, okay. How are you, sir? Hi, sir. Daddy? Yes, darling. Can I tell you something? Of course, you can. You know you can talk to me about anything. Go ahead. My friend, Junior, he has not been coming to school since. 
and it's because he has not paid his school fees. Please, can you pay his school fees for him? My dear, um, in as much as I would have loved to, but you, you, you know, daddy does not pluck money from trees. Okay, I, I don't have that money to spare. Even if I have, uh, not to somebody I do not know. I don't know your friend. Daddy, you don't know him, but I do. He's my friend. Please help me out. Ella, listen. You're my only child, okay? There's no way I can deceive you. But on this very one, I am sorry. My hands are tied. There is nothing I can do. I'm sorry. I, I cannot help. Daddy, I, I know you have the money. Please pay his school fees for him. Ella, let's not drag this, okay? I, I don't have money. I, even if I do, I, I do not know the young man. In, you know what? I think I am done with this conversation. Okay? I am sorry. I cannot pay his coffee. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <sighs> Ella, I told you not to tell daddy about the stuff. But you refused. Eh? I know he will not agree. Knowing fully well that making money now eh, is difficult. Please, let me take you inside so I can freshen you up and prepare lunch for you. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. There we are. Come, let's read together. Hmm? So, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 says, Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land that your God has given to you. It means whatever your mommy says you should do, that is what you do. What did I say? Whatever your mom says you should do, that's what you should do. Mm -hmm. It means whatever I tell you, do it. Oh? So, we are done with our study for today. Let's pray. Oh, so we can go and sleep. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord is with me. Blessed are you almost to me. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. For in the mother. Good morning. What is your name? How are you? Fine, thank you. The fan of more. You more well, lame. This one that you came to our house this early, or the grandma? Um, everything is not fine. I am here to collect my money. Like I told you before, today is market day, and I need to stock off my shop. Hi, my friend. You know if I had this money since, I would have brought you to your shop long, long ago. I wouldn't have even waited for you to come to my house. I don't have the money yet. Oh, so what do you want me to do now? Yeah, all I'm asking that you give me two more time, just small time, I'll bring you the money. Trust hmm. me. Sochi, hmm? I cannot give you. Please go inside and bring me the money. We cannot mix business and friendship together. It doesn't go along. And we still cannot deny that we are friends now. Nah. Are we not friends? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> make me that. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey, I don't have it. See, eh? Just give me from now till tomorrow. Before tomorrow ends, I'll bring your money to you. Such. Trust me. Mm -hmm. If I had told you to drop all those things you collected on that day, you would have labelled me a bad person. Now look at it now. Where is the money? 
Please, oh, go inside and look for a way and give me the money. This is not fair. So, so, uh, do you like me, Ra? Hehe, well, leave me. You will be. I'm going to go to the garden. I'm going to go to the garden. I'm going to go to I don't want to come back here oh, and hear stories again. No. I don't want to come back here and hear stories. Stop oh, it. Stop it. I don't want to come back here and hear stories next time. No, no problem. You will not hear stories. Oh. What is the problem? Why are you seated here all by yourself? Don't you want to go to school? No, Dad. What do you mean, no, Dad? What, what is no? My friend Junior was chased out of school because he did not pay his school fees. And I begged you refuse. If you don't pay his school fees for him, I will not go to school too. <laughs> this, is, this is becoming something else. What do you mean if I don't pay the school fees of Junior, you will not go to school? So it, 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 it's because of Junior's school fees that you're like this? Yes, Dad. Wait, hold on. Who is this boy in question? He's my friend and classmate. Hmm. Okay. Sir? Do you know this boy called Junior? Sir, I know him. Um. We picked him from school one day and we took him to his house. And ever since then, Ella has not allowed the rest. This is serious. Ella, hold on a second, let me ask you. What is so special about this boy called Junior? And why are his parents unable to pay his school fees? There is nothing special about him. He's just my friend and they are poor. So, the, your problem right now is that I should pay his school fees and you'll be fine, right? Yes, Dad. Very well then. It is done. I will pay his school fees. So, just be happy, okay? Now smile for Daddy. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> My princess. It's okay. Um, it's time for school and you need to get to school, okay? Uh, okay. Sir. Take her inside so you can freshen her up and then get her dressed for school, okay? Yes, go, go, go. Go to school. I'll see you when you come back, okay? Okay, sir. insults and shame and disgrace is getting too much but I cannot continue like this I cannot just look at my son I cannot even provide for him yes what my mother said was right she was right I cannot sit down and fold my hands and watch my son died of starvation. I have tried everything I know. Just not working. They're just not working. I'm left with no other choice. But whatever it is that I have to do, I must save myself from starvation. I must save myself from hunger. Please help me, God. Please, be cool. On your chip, woman, and a mug of 
Go and see my friend, but don't worry, I will not waste time. Oh, okay, mom. Don't worry, I'll take you to your grandmother's place. Go and bring your clothes. Go and bring your clothes. Where your clothes be quick. Are you done? Yes. My, mm, your grandmother is not at home. Like I'll take you to my friend's shop. Then my friend's shop. Listen, when you get there, don't play any rough play. Are you hearing me? Okay. When you go there, behave yourself. Where are you going with your dress like this? As you can see, I am going out. So where are this kind of clothes you're putting, putting on? What do you mean this kind of clothes I'm putting on? What is wrong with my clothes? No responsible person with dress like this. <laughs> what you're wearing now does not make you look any responsible at all. Oh, now you're saying I'm irresponsible. Sister, I must say the truth. What you're putting on now? Mm -mm, mm -mm, enough. I've had enough from Mama. I will not stand here and watch you insult me too. Oh, God knows I'm not insulting you. I don't have time to banter words here with you. Oh? How does come over my sister? Oh God, what has come over my sister? I need to go and tell Mama about this. Keep Junior with you. I'll come back now, now, then I'll come and carry him. Oh? Okay. <laughs> not again, Sachima. I know the one that said I should go and look for money so I can come and pay you the debt I'm owing you. Eh, please, I want to go and look for money. Eh? Uh -huh. So, where are you going to get the money from? Don't worry about where I'll get the money. Don't worry. Pray that I should be successful wherever I'm going. Eh? All right. Be a good boy till I come back. Oh? You don't worry, I'll come back very soon. 
And where is she going dressed like that? I hope it's not what I am thinking of. Okay. Yeah. You always have something to tell me. Hugging on Zoka. Mama, you needed to see what Sister Sochima was putting on a while ago. What was she putting on? She was half naked, Mama. She dressed like one of those prostitutes who do usually stand by the roadside waiting for men to pick them. Maybe that is what she's dressed for. You never can tell. Mama. What do you want me to say? So it's your I'm quoting. So this is the reason you refuse giving her money for her upkeep and that of her son. It is said that we don't know the value of what is being done for you. Abuse becomes inevitable. Now that she's fending for herself and her son, she will now revalue or she will realize all the things that I was doing for her. Mama, this thing you're doing is not, it's not just fair. It's not fair. It's not again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you had better start getting ready because very soon you also start fighting for yourself. Nonsense. Yeah, I'm good. On your trip, oh, Mary, man, oh, and I'm a cockabo. On your trip, oh, Mary, as I know, and as a cockabo. But they got a ticket and a no one, okay, no, okay, boo. The men who mess and a no one, oh, it's a chicken game. Oh, yeah, oh. Hey, 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 I was actually on my way to your house so you can make my hair. Well, I'm going an errand for my mom. So what do I do? I saw you yesterday. And you didn't tell me that I want to make your hair. And now you're telling me that I want to make your hair. I was in your house yesterday. And you didn't tell me that you want to make your hair. So why now? You didn't talk to me. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's go together. Let's run an errand for my mom. When we're back, I'll do your hair. All right, then. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, what's your sister into now? And why do you ask? Not you know, I just ask because the way she dressed earlier, like a whore. That is enough. I will not have you call my sister names. We're not querying. Please, let's do. Okay, fine. Come on, I won't bite you. I only just said I want to drop you off, okay? I'm sorry, does it look like I'm going your way? Ah, come on, how can a beautiful girl like you be standing all alone on this road? Just look at it, yeah? It's so dry. Okay, I mean, this is my area, okay? If you stand from now to tomorrow, you won't see any cab to pick you from here. So let me just drop you off. That is none of your business. Please just let me be, okay? Come on, girl. I don't bite, okay? I mean, look at you. You're so beautiful. No man on earth will see a beauty, glooming, shining, sexy girl like you and just want to drive by. 
<laughs> you really think I'll fall for your sweet words? Hell to the law, please. Listen, I'm not trying to flatter you, okay? Okay, okay, come on, okay, just stop, okay? Okay, can I have a drink with you? No, you can't buy me a drink. I do not want to do drink with you. Why are you so stubborn? What do you want? I offered you a lift, you said no, Oga. I want to buy you a drink. No. Oga, money for hand, back for ground. What? You have been moody since you got here. Are you okay? I'm worried about my sister. What's wrong with your sister? I'm afraid of the kind of life she lives now. I'm worried that something might happen to her at the long run. No, you don't have to. She's an adult, so she can take care of herself, okay? You think so? I know so, I'm telling you. I know so. Come, let's go. Come. Okay, it's okay. Then. Let's go. Hey, come on, slow it down. Listen, I really want to see you again, okay? I mean, you're so sweet. I'm sorry, my business with you is hereby ended. Can I go now? Listen, I want to see you again, okay? Please. Whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, um, can I get your number? Come on, I mean, that's the, that's See, a very big joke. You think I'm lying? I'm not lying. I don't have a phone. Excuse me, I mean, that's the You think I'm joke. kidding? I'm not. I'm not lying. I do not have a phone. Well, it's okay. Um, Here's my card. Here's my card. I believe I gave you enough money, okay? At least, at least can get you a smaller phone. Is this necessary? Just I call. I don't think you want to be. Okay, me. let's say for business again, okay? Mm -hmm. I always say I'll see you again. <laughs> Do you have a choice here? Yes, okay. Come on, have this. Obvious all those people are not coming back anytime soon. Eh? Please let's go. I don't want to go. I just want to stay here and wait for them to return back. Yimo well me. If you are one cosa chima. Eko. You know, if not for you. Pinya binga na seta no ni ye. Oh well lima oh broke and was a borrow oh oh walk with me. Hmm. What are friends anyway. for? If not for inconvenience, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, mm. how much am I owing you in total? <laughs> it's just one more new. Hey, 3450 Just 3450 Yes. <laughs> my dear, I'm going to give you 5000 Naira. And you can keep the change. Oh. Yes, for all the times that you were there for me when nobody was there for me. <laughs> it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Tell me you're lie. not pulling my legs. It's. Uh. Hey! Yes, this is 5,000 naira. And you can keep the change like Hey! Well, wait, me, say! Hey! Well, wait, me, say! My friend, my friend, mm. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, me, why? Mm. Where did you get this money from? <laughs> ah, Juju. Listen, my dear. Happen how they were in a motor, he buy it. If you sleep on top bicycle, bicycle will carry you and pass your house. So don't bother about where the money came from. And just so you know, there's so much more where this one came from. 
Eh. Yes, so. Eh. 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 Junior, what do you want? Just collect anything. In fact, wait, 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 wait. You don't want biscuit. Take, take biscuit, take. Ah, ah, wait, 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 wait. You don't want all this ones. Ah, baby, you don't want me to spend my money on you. Okay, no problem. Listen, eh? We are going home now. And I'll cook your favorite for you. In fact, whatever you want, just tell mommy. Mommy will give it to you. Oh, baby, look at me. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Let me take my son home. Thank you for keeping him. One Hmm. Now my guess is actually right. How did she get all this money in a short space of time? Hey, I knew it. <laughs> my instinct were correct. <laughs> Hi, Sochima. Okay. Anyways, what is my own business? I've collected my money. That is the important thing to me. I am not surprised. What do you expect of someone that speaks different languages? Today, element. Tomorrow, Igbo. Next, tomorrow, Hausa. I've collected my money. I don't care. I just want to give Junior the good news. Okay, now. Let's wait. Oh, here they come. Ella. Who are to Ha! Ella! Ogechi! Oh, hey, yeah. People are here. Yes. Hope I did not keep you waiting for too long. Hmm. You did, though. I even pleaded with Ella, so we'll go home and return tomorrow. She refused. Ella, how are you? I'm fine. Junior can I come back to school. My dad has paid his school fees for him. You're not joking, are you? I'm not joking. I'm serious. Okay. Yeah, she, she, she's saying the right thing. I'm not joking. I'm serious, auntie. My dad has paid his school fees for him and his lesson fee. Ella. Thank you. Please. Where do you people stay? So I like at least come and tell your father thank you. That would be nice to for you and Junior to come to our home. We live at number 22 BC Street. Can I come and say thank you to him? Tomorrow. Uh, no, tomorrow he won't be around. Just make it weekend. He doesn't go to work during weekends. Weekend? Yes, tomorrow? Okay. Anytime? Mm, no problem. And um, please, we are running late. Please, I need to take her home. Junior, her dad paid your school fees. Say thank you to her. Thank you, Anna. Hi! Ella, God bless you, my child. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I know. I'll see you when I come to your house. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you. Oh. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is this? It's me, Sochima. Hey, Sochima. Oh, I told you never call. <laughs> Thank God you've called. I really missed you. I miss you too. 
So is is this your number so that I can save it right away? Yes, this is my number. Okay. So where are you at the moment? Um, maybe we can sit out and um, over a bottle of beer or drink. What do you think? Okay, there's no problem, but today I have so many things I want to do. Yes. Maybe some other time. No, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's okay by me, it's fine. Uh, the most important thing is that I have your number now and I can be calling you morning, afternoon and night. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Wait, let me ask. Say I want to hang out with you. Where would that be? Just name it, okay? Any place of your choice. I'm cool with it. Alright? Okay, don't worry. I'll send you an address hmm? later. Then we'll see there. But promise you not take too much of my time. No? Yes, I promise. And um, your wish is my command, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. Bye. I just came early and Gina told me mm. This one you're happy. What is the secret? Secret? Mm. Which secret? Sister, this are you happy. Sister, this are you sad. Sister, you did this one. Sister, you did that one. Don't you ever get tired. No, no, never. Wait, let me save this number before I forget. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. Nena, eh? Biko, Junior Scoot. All of them are dirty. No one for him to wear, even today. You just help me and go and pack some and wash. So this is why you sent for me. Oh, yeah, also. Eh? Wash your little nephew's clothes now. He won't tear. So he may have anti-duties. I'll just do it because of Junior. Eh, yes, do it because of Junior. Oh? That little name. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. No! Nene! Nena! Come save one number before I forget. Yes. Of course, I'm going to be at the office tomorrow, first thing in the morning. When I come, I will sort it out, okay? Okay. Yes, just ensure that everything is in place. All right. Uh, okay, L let me call you back. Let me call you back, okay? Hi, Dad. Hello, my princess. Come. You're back from school already. And uh, I believe you must have done your assignment, right? No, Dad. But Oge promised that she will do it when she's done cooking. Oh, okay. That's beautiful. Oh, Oge is really trying. Dad? Yes, honey? My friend Junior and the mother will be coming to our home to say thank you for paying his school fees. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, it's fine. I mean... They can actually come, no problem. At least this will give me an opportunity to meet this your friend finally. That you have talked so much about. I'll be I'll be glad to meet him. So wh when are they coming? They are coming this weekend. Like this weekend. Okay, that's that's beautiful. Um okay, I have a trip to make, but I'll I'll, I'll ensure I come back by weekend and um, I'll try and meet this your friend, okay? So they're welcome, don't worry. I'll be glad to meet them. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling. Don't worry, okay? You know I love you so much. And I'm sure you love Daddy too, right? Come here. Mm -hmm. My princess. Watch <laughs> You will never tidy up their kitchen. Please. Is this 
is why you brought me to your house oh. instead of where you go to keep taking it. Oh, contrary, no. Don't get in trouble, okay? Listen, not the reason why I brought you here. I brought you here so that you can get to know my place and. Um, <laughs> That's why people don't like cleaning up your place. Look at how this place looks like when mad people stay. <laughs> and who are you to blame on that? I mean, I'm a bachelor, I live alone, so... I should get to me. <laughs> never, I never wish to have one. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. No, you tell me about yourself. Uh -huh, okay. Well, you know already, my name is um, Peter Okafo. I'm from Emo States and um, I'm a real estate agent. I travel all over the world to buy properties. I also sell properties too. I, I was once married. But I lost my wife. I lost my wife three weeks after our marriage. She was heading home. She was traveling to the village to go see her family. And she had an accident and she died on the spot. And since then I have been all alone in this world. Just me alone. Enough of me, okay? So. Sorry about your wife. And how long has this been? It's been three years now, and uh, since then I decided not to be with any other woman again, but since I met you, it's been different. <sighs> well, never mind. So, tell me about yourself. Enough of me for now, okay? Uh, there's nothing much about me, actually. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Can you say that? I mean, everyone has a story to tell, so I am waiting. <laughs> All right. Okay, I am... Um, I'm from a family of two. Okay. My sister and I. Mm -hmm. My dad is no more, and my mom has been doing everything to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. Just that uh, life did not really turn out for me the way I dreamt it. Meaning? What do you mean? Okay. You know, while I was in secondary school, I had to do a whole lot to help my mother. You know, we sold a whole lot of things, whatever it is we could sell at the time. As I grew up, I kept on with the business thing. I traveled to so many places, you know. Whatever was it that was in Vogue, we were selling. Mm -hmm. I went to some Hausa lands, Yoruba lands, even River State, Port Harcourt. You know, there was this place I stayed for a while. It's called Eleme. The reasons I could speak the language well. They are very nice people. Yes, mm -hmm. they are very accommodating. Their hospitality is top notch. So I stayed there for a while. I have so many friends there. But that's by the way. So on one of my trips while I was coming back, I met Mr. Gibson. He's from Lebanon actually. I liked him and everything was going on well. He said he was going to come see my mom. And then I was that relaxed with him that I took him. Yes. <laughs> so he fixed the date to come see my mom. That day came, but he never came. We waited all day for him, but he never came. A day passed. Then another day, then another day, he didn't come. Three days after, I had to go to the company where he was working. 
at least to find out why he did not show up. <laughs> I got there and I received the most shocking news of my life. I was told that he had moved on and he has moved to be with his family. I didn't understand what that meant until I got the letter he sent me through his friend, his colleague, that read He's been transferred and he has gone to meet with his family. I never knew he was married. His friend knew but never told me. So he used me, got me pregnant and left me. So you see, there's nothing actually interesting about me. <laughs> oh, such a sad one, okay? It's really a sad story. So, what really happened to the pregnancy? I guess you aborted it. No, I couldn't live with the after effect of abortion, so I kept the child. Wow. As I speak to you, I've been living with my son, and he's been the only happiness I've had ever since that day. Yes, it's been tough, but God has kept us till this day. I'm fine. Hmm. So, is that the reason why you got into prostituting? I mean, there are other ways to make money. There was no other means. I mean, there was no way to raise money for anything. I did so many things. I worked on people's farms. They wouldn't pay me. You know, that was the only way, actually. And how long have you been into that? Uh-huh. Is that Gibson? And you, Mr. Peter, has been the only man I have known all my life. <laughs> it's funny, yeah, but that day you saw me on the road was the first day I started. <laughs> mm. Well, I noticed you being naive when, I, when we were making out. <laughs> time to say this, okay? Such I have come to love you. Huh? Yes. Listen, since since my wife died, I have refused to give any woman the space to come into my life. But from that first day I met you, everything turned around. Such a girl. You are the kind of woman every man prays to have. Look at you, you're beautiful. At the same time, you're humble. Such a... Make me a happy man, please. I have everything to make a woman happy. I'm ready to spend my last money on you just to make you happy. And to shock you on this, I'm ready to accept your son as my son too. Yes. Sochi, let us fight this together. I cannot do it alone and you two cannot go on like this. Give me a space in your heart. Marry me, Sochi. Marry me and make me the happiest man on earth. Please. You don't worry. Your hair is so messed up. Don't worry, eh? Let me mommy come and tell her to take it to the salon so she can wait. Okay. Eh? Until I am hungry, can we go home? I can't eat. The mother is not yet back, so I can't pick you up. Eh? 
My friend, take him to their house. Go and give him food. The poor boy is hungry. Go and get a and So now allow me to eat this granola in peace. Good afternoon, Emma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. You know, now you ready? Let's go and leave you here. Ah, I want to go and give Jenny your food. Maybe when I'm back, or you can join us. Welcome to my home. <laughs> you mean you live here? Yes, I live here with my son, Junior. <clears throat> well, it's okay. So, where's Junior? I took him to my mom's place. How else do you think I would have had the chance to come and see you? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, come inside. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, oh no, 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 come on. Not so fast, okay? Listen, I have an appointment to catch. Maybe some other time. That's your appointment. Can't wait. Come inside, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you insist. I insist, though. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's okay. I'll have to go now. Hmm? Okay. Come <laughs> <on>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Bye. Yeah. I'll miss you. Yeah, yeah. I'll miss you too. <laughs> I love you. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. I hope I take very good care of you. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister, mm -hmm. who was the man that we saw that hugged you and you even kissed him? Are you not a monitoring spirit? You even saw him kissing me. Okay. Of course I did. Makwan, don't worry. It's a long story. I'll tell you. Makwan, she's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, sister, can you can you tell me now? I said I will tell you later. Ah. Mm. Um, sister, I want to go and see me. She should stop like to check on someone. Mm. Is that why you're not getting inside? Come inside, first. No, sister. So, uh, let me Nabazi. just... Nabazi. Nabazi. Oh. Hey, hey, Gina, bye bye. Uh -huh. Yeah? Okay. okay. Mm. Really, David, you really need to see this girl. I mean, she's just everything a man wants in a woman. Are you serious? I mean, you've known me with women. I don't talk about women like this. But this particular one is different. She's beautiful. She's humble. In fact, she's... <laughs> she's everything you can paint black is beautiful. You know what, Peter? See, I, I've known you with women, okay? You are always fond of women. And for you to talk about this one like this, it means she's really indeed an epitome of beauty. Yes. 
you know what, Peter? I mean, I can't wait to read this on this world. For you, have, for you to have said so many good things about her, it means she's really an angel. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. Um, you know, I was actually planning on going there tomorrow, okay? I mean, you can come along too. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know what, uh, Peter? You, you're my friend, okay? And you have my support any day, any time. Yeah. I'll come with you, no problem at all. Yeah. But when I talk about this one, she's... Uh, my princess. Mm -hmm. My friend and the mom are here. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Like, yes. they are coming here? Mm -hmm. Your daughter has grown. What a coincidence. My love, what are you doing here? How are you? What's going on? Why is your face like that? Sochima. David. Excuse me, what? What's going on here? Do you both know each other? Do you know her? Yes, I do. I mean, this is this is Sochima, the, the Mr. Gibson's ex-girlfriend, the one I told you about. She's the one. Such a wait. Please. I just want to be left alone. Let me find a way to deal with this pain that comes with the news you just gave to me. Oh, please. Please, hold on, okay? Just hear me out, okay? Everything is entirely my fault. You can blame me for it, please. Just hear me out. David, you knew that this man was married, right? You hid it from me. You let him take advantage of me. Why didn't you tell me he was married? What was your reason? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Forgive me. We are Africans. We are both Nigerians. We are supposed to look out for each other. Yet you let a white man come into your country and take advantage of your own sister. To what end? I don't, I don't understand. Tell me. I know. You see, like I said, it's not my fault. You know how close this man and I were. And I, I did everything to want to let you know, but he insisted I should not. He, he, he made me swear to him that I would never tell you anything. That's why. You swore to him at the expense of my life, my future, Sorry. my happiness, David. You know the stigma that comes with single parenting, right? You know the stigma that comes with single parenting. You understand what it means to get pregnant outside wedlock in this country, especially this part of the world. Yet you let me go through it. You let me go through it, David. Sochi, you please say. Okay, I... You talk about forgiveness. I'm sorry, but I'll never forgive you. Never. I'm willing to help anyhow you want me to, okay? If it's money, anything, okay, fine. I'll give you any amount of money to take care of your child. To hell with the money! I... Who told you I want your money? How is the money going to take away this shame from me? How is it going to take it away? I... I'm sorry, David. I, I just need to go. Oh, please. Sochi, my wait! Sochi! They call me an outcast And they say I deserve to die Now tell me what is my offense Can they come here and they mad with your bum on On a fugo Mwabia lo wabia go On a fugo this is Sochima, the one that got pregnant for him. Oh, no, 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 no,
I need to hear him out. Please, hmm? calm down. I mean, look at your son, he can't continue like this. Please. Huh? I mean, look at your son. Please. So, Jima, I didn't have your address. Else I would have come to tell you just how sorry I am. The truth of the matter is that I've not really been myself since that time. Everything has not been the same. I've been looking for you almost everywhere. Please, I beg you, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I know I've wronged you in so many ways. My friend here has told me a lot of good things about you and how he's willing to come and make you his wife and uh, as well as take your son as his son as well. Please, and I've given him my support. Pico, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Eh? You're a very good woman. Any man would be so happy to, to have you as a wife. Please. Forgive me. I, I just give me another chance and I promise you that I will never do anything to offend you again. Just accept me as your friend again. You know, we have a bright future all together. Please, Pico. All I am asking for is that you give me a chance to please show how remorseful I am for everything. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Stop, please. Don't kneel. Please. Don't kneel, please. please. It's okay. It's fine. Does this mean you have forgiven me? Yes, I have. <laughs> this is the best news I've heard so far. Thank you so very much. I mean, this cause for celebration. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you for paying my son's school fees. Mm. I really appreciate it. God bless you. It's nothing, okay? It's nothing. I could do much more than that. You know what, Peter? This cause for celebration, we really need to drink to this. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. We need to celebrate this. <laughs> I, I need to get a drink as soon as possible. I'm coming. Okay, let me just get a drink. We need to celebrate this. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Thank you very much, man. Oh, my son, come here. <laughs> We're one big happy family now. Yes. Oh, princess, come on with you, okay? <laughs> wow, one big family. Bella, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> The rejected stone becomes the cornerstone When the rejected stone becomes the cornerstone Yeah Onye le kwana madu anyano Kati tata o Echidi me onye mi yoka muwe 